Hi everybody, welcome and welcome to the channel. In the video of today I want to tell you about the education system here in Germany, which is actually a bit criticized because it does remind the future of the of the children when they still are very young. But I really want to talk about this because it's a bit complex and in case some of you are thinking about moving to Germany and you uh, already have children, you will have to know this very well. In case you are moving and in the future you will have children in Germany, you still have to know about this. So I will try to explain this as short and as clear as I can. So the academic life of children start with kindergarten, which is optional and the parents have to pay it. This goes since um, children are three years to when they are five. And sometimes children spend two or three hours every day, but and they also can spend from eight to nine hours in case the parents work and they cannot take care of the children during the day. Something curious about this uh, these schools is that in some parts of your money they get really, really busy. So when the parents do it, they book the place uh, for the children even before they are born so when they reach the age they already have a place for them and they have a safe place in a kindergarten in some cities there are also another kind of schools uh, for children who are less than three years old in case the parents of course they cannot take care of them or they have to work or anything so somebody else can take care of them afterwards the primary school or Grundschule starts when the kids are between five years and a half and six years the first day of school for children is pretty important and to make it less difficult and a bit funnier they receive a bag of they spend four years in this school and afterwards the parents uh, get a recommendation from the teacher with the type of school which is more appropriate for the children uh, uh, to continue their education and which is based in an evaluation that the teacher makes depending on the results, the um, interest of the kid and also the level he got during those years of school. If the kid had some difficulties by learning during those years of school, the teacher can also recommend another school which is called Sonderschule, which is like a special school and is focused on children who have difficulties learning or who are not very interested in learning. For secondary school there are three options and the first one is the Hauptschule, which is until the kid is 16 years old. This school is normally for people who are um, not really brilliant academically speaking and is focused on teaching them a vocational education. Once they are 16 and they are done with the school they can choose to do some uh, training or apprenticeship and they sometimes combine it with part-time studies in a Berufsschule where they learn and specific job. Second option or second school they can choose is the Realschule and also it's till the kid is 16 years old. This offers more possibilities to those uh, students who have a medium level and it's done for those people who afterwards want to do a professional training. Here instead of learning just one job, a vocational job, they learn more general things so they can choose afterwards a professional training that they like. And third is the gymnasium or the high school and it's uh, till they are 18 or 19 years old. It's obviously the one that is chosen the most because you can get a higher education and afterwards you can choose to go to university. It finishes with the Abitur, which is the exam that you need to go to university. And this school is obviously the most difficult one because it's, you have to study more, you have to do a lot of work, but it's worth it because you afterwards can enter the university. There are some other kind of school which is called Gesamtschule and it's uh, just in some regions of Germany. This means that uh, all the children go to the same school but they are divided by levels. When they are 16 they, are, they can choose between going and do some training or some apprenticeship or to do uh, three more years so they are able to do the abitur, the exam to go into university and afterwards enter university. In my opinion obviously the most complete one is to go to the gymnasium because you get a better education to get a better preparation for university. It's harder but you learn more definitely and as I said this is obviously the one that people choose the most because the highest percentage of people here in Germany go to the university afterwards. So I hope this video was interesting for you in case you have children and you want to put them in a school or in case you want to stay here in Germany and in the future you want to have children and have them here and in school here at least you know how this works now. And if it does not your case at least it's something different that you can know about how the education system works in another country. So, of course, if you liked the video, I would really appreciate if you leave me a thumbs up. And as always, uh, the most important thing for me is the ideas that you leave me in the comments and you send me by Facebook. And of course, you can get subscribed to my Facebook page and the link you will find in the description of this video. And keep on sending me ideas over there by message, which are always very helpful and very welcome. So I wish you a very, very nice rest of the day and we'll talk in the next one. Bye-bye.